Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Teacher Ade O. If you enjoy these classes and you want more, please remember to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and I really appreciate. This will encourage me to make more videos. Today we're going to review drug name stems. And this is a way for you to recognize and remember your drugs. Okay? So we have drugs that end in the AFIL. These are drugs that are used to treat erectile dysfunction drugs. Drugs such as Viagra with the generic name Sildenafil, Cialis, which is Tadanafil, Tadalafil, Cialis. We have Sildenafil, which is Viagra. So if you just remember these suffixes, then it's a way to bring it all together. And then we have drugs that end in azepam or azolamps. These are our benzodiazepines. Benzos. We call them benzos or benzodiazepines. Examples are alprazolam, clonazepam and so forth. These are used to treat anxiety, insomnia, and seizures. Okay? Insomnia and seizures. Okay? And then we have our azo drugs. Okay? These are generally antifungals, such as... So our azo drugs are antifungals such as antifungals such as my favorite fluconazole brand name diflucan we have clotrimazole we have ketoconazole ketoconazole all right, and then we have our barbiturates that end in barbitol. Barbiturates, these are used to treat seizures, okay? These are anti-seizure medications. Examples include my favorite phenobarbital. and so forth, pentobarbital, and so forth, and so forth. Next, we have certain antibiotics, such as that start with CEPH, C-E-P-H, or C-E-F. These are cephalosporins, cephalosporin antibiotics. Okay? These are used to treat bacterial infections, such as, example is your cephalexin, cephalexin, brand name Keflex, okay? Uh, another good example is, let's see, septenir, we have septenir, which is Omnicef. We have so many cefazolin that's in common in the hospital and so forth and so forth. Okay. All right. Another class. We're still on drug name 
stems, all right? We have the dronates. In this class of medications are the bisphosphonates. These are your medications used to prevent osteoporosis prevention. Examples include drugs such as Alendronis, brand name Fosamax. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have some resedronates and we have some other ones. Okay. Um, another suffix you should try to remember is your fluoxacin. These are your a class of uh, fluoroquinolone antibiotics. Examples include ciprofloxacin or brand name cipro. We have moxifloxacin. We have levofloxacin. Brand name levoquin and so forth and so forth okay and then you have your gliptins these are your dipeptido peptidase this is this is your type 2 diabetic anti anti diabetic drugs and it, we call them dpp4 inhibitors Examples is your Genovia, Cetagliptin, okay, all right, and of course, we can't forget our penicillins, the e -cillins. we have a lot of penicillins, amoxicillins, these are antibiotics, penicillin antibiotics such as Amoxicillin, ampicillin, nafcillin. Nafcillin is seen mostly in the hospital. It's an IV medication. Okay. All right. And then we're going to move on to our steroids. Steroids and in. in Isone steroids examples are your prednisone, your prednisolone. In the hospital, you'll see IV methyl prednisolone, brand name Solumedrol. Okay. Then we have our beta blockers, which end in OLO. We must not forget our beta blockers. Beta blockers, a very common class of medications. And they're used to treat arrhythmias um, of high heart rate. Okay. Example is a popular one is metoprolol. We have our carvedilol. And you see how they end in OLO right here. Okay. All right. And then another common one you should know is your, are your, um, what we call proton pump inhibitors. Your prazoles. These are used for, to suppress acid in the stomach. This is our proton, sorry, proton pump inhibitors. This is a very common class of medication for acid suppression, stomach acid suppression, okay? Stomach acid. 
Examples are omeprazole. Omeprazole. Here is your prazole. And then we have my favorite pantoprazole. Pantoprazole. There we go. Pantoprazole. Brand name. Protonics. Omeprazole is pralosec. 